Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are having a lovely day. I have a 10 minute painting for you. It's pretty self-explanatory, just a simple, pretty whimsical feather. I uh, just uh, felt like it suited something kind of happy and uplifting and pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna have not too much explanation during this video, but it is in real time. So if you wanna try it along with me, feel free. Uh, so let's go ahead, jump right in. So I am using my calligraphy liner brush here. It comes to a nice fine point, so I felt it would be appropriate for the subject matter that I was painting. The feather has a lot of fine lines in it, so I started out by just making the sweeping sort of arc motion for the stem, for lack of a better word, of the feather and just quickly filled that in. I'm using Viridian Hue. It's a really pretty, almost teal type of color. And then just really going in, the main thing about this was just getting the brush to a fine point. And I know you can't see it right now, but as my hand moves, you'll see a little more. Getting the very fine point of the brush and just drawing these curving arcing lines for the feather wisps. And that's really, the primary part of this painting very quick very almost zen type of feeling so you're just filling in some of those details and making sure as your brush runs out of paint or if it gets dry wetting it again reapplying the paint and then you can start adding the lines once again I did have to be careful a couple times. I had a little too much paint on the brush and not enough liquid, so it created really dark, almost streaky lines instead of having the fine continuous line. So if that happens, you just wet your brush, uh, kind of like that, that I got really wet, so I had that thicker line there, but you wet your brush, blot it on your paper towel or, or just regular towel uh, as I use, and uh, then go back to applying. So much of watercolor involves finding the right balance of paint to water. So if you have a little too much paint, you can always wet your brush a little bit and blot it on your towel. Or if you have too much water and not enough paint, just going back in, really wetting your paint down with a lot of water. And then uh, again, you're gonna be blotting your brush on your towel quite often just to get the correct balance. Got a little too much water there, but that was okay. Again, this is a 10 minute video, so I'm not looking for exact etude, I guess, exactness, or uh, tr very realistic type paintings. But with this, I am trying to make it at least recognizable, the object, which I think at this point you can definitely tell it's a feather type shape and uh, really more this was just meant to be almost some freeing motions. I'm, I'm literally, I'm hardly even pausing. I'm just adding the lines and going over and over. Can be a very freeing type of feeling rather than getting stuck in the details to not, just not worry about it and let your brush go where it's gonna go. I even wound up going a bit off the page just to make it a little larger than life. And that was okay with me. I just went, to, just went for it. And with these short 10 minute paintings, that really is, it's meant to help you connect with, you know, maybe the reason why you paint or draw, whatever it is you're doing, why you enjoy it and take some of that pressure off of having something to be exact or very detailed or spending a ton of time on it. You have just 10 minutes so do what you can in that 10 minutes and have fun with it. That's the most important thing.
So I moved so quickly that honestly, I could have stopped right at this point and that was about, a, would have been a five minute painting. So it wouldn't lived up to the name of a 10 minute watercolor painting. So I decided to go in and add some ultramarine blue over the top of that green, give it even more of a teal type color. And then a little bit later on, I have some fun with flowy loose watercolor that almost looks like smoke a bit. So I had a, had a bit of fun with that, but honestly, I would after, even after just adding this little bit of ultramarine blue would have been perfectly happy with the painting done right there. But again, I wanted to go for as close to the 10 minutes as possible. This one, I actually, I think total the, the uh, length of the painting is about nine minutes, 15 seconds, but it's close enough to 10 minutes that I feel like the title still applies. Going back and adding a little bit of very light ultramarine blue streaks in the feathers, just add a little color variation. I didn't use a reference image for this. I just kind of went ahead and, and went for it. I initially started looking at some photos of feathers on unsplash.com and then thought, what the heck, I'm just gonna go and do whatever, whatever's out of my brain. And, and it worked out pretty well. As you can tell, it probably has some inspirations from especially the color palette, the peacock feather, uh, but I wasn't meaning for it to be exact. Uh, exact like that type of feather, just going for it, having some bright, bold color. As you can tell, there's quite a bit of water in that paint, so it's very loose and flowy. And then to add that almost smoky effect, I'm just creating these curving, random sort of lines that protrude out from the, the, the field of color to make it look like little tendrils of smoke. You can see how quickly I'm moving. This is in real time, but for those kind of smoky effects, I'm just really quickly drawing them and it's very light. There's not a lot of paint on that brush, just a bit of water and then little hints of paint. And again, I actually liked the contrast of the white page against the feather and maybe that little bottom blue smoky part, but filling up that almost 10 minutes, I just decided to keep going and having fun with the splashes and washes of color and making it look a little smoky and flowy. And this last several seconds here is just me adding the signature. And since I had plenty of time, I was pretty careful about it, trying to keep a high amount of pigment on the brush and keeping it at the tip at the point. So it would be a nice even lined signature. And that's the end.
Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe. Until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.